Hi, I'm Donna Jordan from Jordan Fabrics and I'm going to show you today how to make a jagged edge table runner in Easter from our pre-cut table runner kit. So open up your package, take your blocks out, use the picture here as a guide and lay out all your patchwork. Your first row has one block. Your second row has three blocks. Then you have five blocks in every row. Then you're going to have a row with three blocks and the last row has one block. Okay, so I'm starting to sew my rows together. The first row only has one block. I've already sewn the second row and now I'm going to sew the blocks together for the third row. Always important to use a quarter inch seam. I will show you which way to do your seam allowances so the runner will lay nice and flat when we finish the row here. So on the first row you want your seam allowances to be pressed to the outside. On the second row you want your first outer seam allowance to go to the outside. I'm just finger pressing and you want this seam allowance to go to the outside. Then you want your middle seam allowances to go towards the middle. Now when I come to sew the rows together, my seam allowances are going every other way and the rows will lay nice and flat when you sew them together. Now you would continue on with the rest of your rows till you had all the rows done, but I'm going to stop here and show you how to sew the rows together. Now that we have the rows sewn together, it's time to sew row to row to row. First row only has one. It's going to fit right here, but I'm going to flip this upside down over it like that so I can keep my rows in the right order. So you're going to center this one block so that the seam allowances and the edge, raw edges all match. Use a quarter inch seam. Stitch it up. And I'm just going to veer off the edge. So I've stitched my first block to my second row. I just started a little bit beyond, stitched a little bit beyond here because the first row only has one block, the next row has the three blocks. So start here, stitch a little bit beyond, open it up. Now you can see it'll fit right onto the next row. We want to match our seams, so we're going to put this on top, match up our raw edges, make sure our seams match. Since we have the seam allowances ironed in opposite directions, it lays really flat. So match everything up, put it on your machine here, stitch. So now we've got it all stitched on and open it up. Stitching all the rest of the rows on, finishing with a row that has three and then the last row has just one patch. Continue on till the runner top is complete. Okay, now that you have all of the pieces sewn together, I'm going to show you how to iron your seam allowances correctly. I'm just showing you a small sample here, but you would do the same thing on the long runner. You want to have all the seam allowances going towards the outside, which means that on your long seam allowances, it's ironed this way, and then right here it's flipped over and ironed this way. If I ironed it that way the whole way along, you wouldn't be able to go around the seam here. So every long one is going to come over flat and then get flipped over. Now we're going to layer everything together. So take a piece of fleece or batting, a backing, right side up, and your top right side down. Smooth everything out, give it a few pins. Now you're ready to stitch the runner front to back. To show the next few steps, I'm gonna be working with the Timeless Treasures Table Runner Kit. You've already completed your whole top. You've already sewn it front to back. Now I'm going to show you how to trim the edges and flip your runner. So I've already started trimming off the edge here. We need to trim off the backing and the fleece, even with the edge of the top of the runner. 
So I'm just going to trim right along the top of the runner here. You can see I've already come part way around. I'm going to keep trimming till I go all the way around the runner. Then when I'm done, you need to snip off the tips of the corners so that those will poke out nice and flat when you get the runner clipped. And then you need to cut in these corners right to your stitching line where you put your runner front to back, not beyond that stitching line, right there. So you have to go through and clip every corner like that. So do that all the way around the runner. So here's a better look at what I was doing. You need to snip through all the layers right to your stitching line, not through the stitching line, but to it. That way, when you flip your runner, these corners will lay nice and flat. So here's another close-up of the opening that we left. It's right here, and this is where we're gonna flip it. So remember, I've stayed, stay stitched my edges so that none of that patchwork will come out, but it looks like the runner is, there's nowhere to flip it, but remember, that's the opening. So now we're ready to flip our runner right side out. So reach your arm inside there, all the way to the far end, and just pull it all the way right side out. Okay, so looks kind of lumpy, but we've got to poke out all these corners. So just from the inside, just take your finger, poke it out, and then kind of pinch it flat. That'll keep it kind of ironed while you poke all these corners out. And you will see your runner start to take shape and start to look like a jagged edge runner. Okay, now I have the whole runner flipped and all the corners poked out. It's still not laying very flat, so I'll show you how to get it nice and flat. So what you want to do is grab two corners. I'm kind of anchoring it with my elbows and just pull it apart like this a little bit. I'm pulling them apart. And if you do that all the way around, your runner will lay nice and flat so you can quilt it. So we're just going to do that all the way around the runner. And then we're just going to smooth it out. It helps if you go along the diagonal rows like this. Make it lay nice and flat and we're just kind of pressing it. Flip it over. Same thing from the back. See how the edge is right in the middle there? They flip real nice and easy. This particular runner kit has a pieced back, so that's why we get that jagged edge looking there like it's shaped. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to edge stitch it. We're gonna start by edge stitching all the way around the edge of the runner. The easiest way to do this is from the back side. So put your patchwork side down, and we're going to stitch about an eighth of an inch from the edge, pivoting at all corners. So you have to lift your presser foot, turn, head to the corner. So just pivot at every corner, make your way all the way around the runner, and then when you're done, your runner will lay nice and flat. So that stitching makes your edge of your runner knife flat. So, you so now that we've edge stitched all the way around, we're going to flip our runner over. And this is the opening. This is where we flipped it, and we need to close that up. So we're just going to match everything up, stick a couple of pins in there. Now I'm going to do this on the machine, but you can whip stitch by hand if you like. So I'm going to just go almost in the ditch, near the ditch, when I stitch this up here. So I'm just going to stitch right near the edge here. And I'm just catching a little bit of the top. And I'm going to go all the way down here. And I'm actually going to quilt my runner now. So I'm just going to keep going to the edge here. And then I'm going to quilt all the way down the middle of the runner. 
right in the ditch. So as soon as the opening is closed, I'm now going right in the ditch. When you get to the corner, pivot right down this one, right in the ditch. You may find you want to put a few pins in. I've got a few pins right along the middle of the runner that helps hold everything in place. Just continue on like this till you've gone all the way down the runner till the end, turn around and come back and you will end up with it quilted all the way down the middle. Now we're back to the Easter runner. The runner is all completed, it's all ironed. And let me just show you where we quilted it, right in the ditch around the center square. So if I flip it over, it's just making one row of quilting right down the middle. Of course, you can quilt it fancier if you want. You can take your long arm and go all over everywhere, but it's actually pretty quick to do it just right down the middle and your runner will be done in no time. Here are some of our other table runner packages. Holiday Flourish Silver, Holiday Flourish Traditional Christmas Colors, Here's a Batik Cornucopia from Robert Kaufman, Reverie from Andover Fabrics. Lots of fun combinations. Thank you for joining us today for the Jagged Edge Table Runner demonstration. Be sure to head on over to jordanfabrics.com to see all of our Jagged Edge Table Runner kits, as well as all of our other fresh cuts. Happy quilting!